Hello, everybody. So today we're going to look at seismic waves. So in your Edmodo, scroll until you find the post that says seismic waves. We have um, the link for the reading. We have the practice questions and we have my email that you can send them to. So um, let's take a look at the different type of seismic waves. So um, seismic waves are basically the energy um, from the earthquake. They're energy waves. They move in all directions away from um, the focus of the earthquake. So each type of seismic wave is going to travel at different speeds and through different materials, depending on what type of seismic wave it is. Um, all seismic waves are able to travel through solids. Not all of them are able to travel through liquid or gas. So seismic waves are important because this is how geologists can study earthquakes and Earth's interior without actually going into the Earth because going deep within the Earth is fatal. So the wave structure, um, you might be familiar with this, um, but many things travel in waves and waves have certain features. So every wave is going to have a crest, which is its high point, and a trough which is its low point, okay? Um, the height of the wave from the center line right here to its crest is called its amplitude. The horizontal distance between a crest and a crest or a trough and a trough is um, a wavelength. So it's in between consecutive crests like here or consecutive troughs right here. And the crest is the high point, the trough is the low point. So different types of seismic waves. We have body waves that travel through the inside of the earth and then surface waves that travel along the ground surface. Um, body waves are gonna be responsible for sharp jolts. Surface waves are gonna be responsible for the rolling motion that does most of the damage in the earthquake. So we have a few different types of body waves. We have primary waves and secondary waves. So we call these P waves and S waves. Um, so they're gonna move at different speeds. So the P waves are faster than the S waves. Um, so these are the ones that are able to reach a seismometer first and P waves are going to squeeze and release rocks as they travel. And the material is going to go back to its original size and shape after. All right, so P waves, for that reason, they're not very damaging. S waves are going to be a little slower than the P waves. Um, they're the second to reach the seismometer. So if you think of it, um, there's always a primary responder in an emergency so P is for primary waves, they're the first to arrive. S is for secondary waves, they're the second to arrive. Um, so S waves are gonna move up and down and change the rock shape. So they're not as fast because they can only travel through solids. Um, they can't travel through liquids and gases because liquids and gases are not going to resist changing shape, OK? So finally, we have circus wa surface waves. We have love waves and Rayleigh waves. So love waves move side to side. Rayleigh waves make a mo uh, um, rolling motion as they move up and backward. And the surface waves are going to cause objects to sway and they're going to cause objects to move up and down. And these are the motions that are going to damage rigid structures such as buildings during an earthquake. 
So make sure you finish your questions and turn them into me. <laughs> 